All right, YouTubers, I figured I would make a cooking video, even though I'm not in the RV because all this coronavirus. And then I thought of this soup that my grandfather used to make when I was a kid. And it was all non-perishable stuff. He would keep all kinds of canned stuff down in the basement just in case like we lost power for a few days or something like that in the winter. So we had all this stuff on hand in case of emergency. Now I make this anyways because I happen to like it. He used to make it with corned beef, canned corned beef. Now I have a can in case of said emergency, but when I make it, I make it with hot Italian sausage because I think it's better. Now, why am I showing this? Uh, part of it is because if any of us have been to the store, we've seen that people have lost their friggin' minds. I had these already, but you know, if you go to the store and all the canned stuff is good, fresh vegetables, one, are better, and two, people are not buying them, so you can obviously make all this with fresh vegetables, and it would be even be better. Um, he used to use regular V8. I used the Spicy Hot. And the other thing that during this whole Corona thing is when I was at the store, I don't know what it's like for everybody else, people have bought like all the canned soups and they've bought up broths and stuff like that. Well, this will be the stock for the soup and there's probably a good chance even in your area that you can still find this V8 stuff on the shelves. The other great part of this is this will feed me for probably about three days and if I ate less it would probably last longer and if you have a family it could last a couple days. And another great thing to do is um, you can make it last longer by using some spaghetti. Some elbows are the best but you got what you got. You can use any kind of spaghetti. You can use, uh, you can build it up by putting some rice in it if you want to put rice in it. Um, oyster crackers are good in it and that'll help stretch it out but it's really a pretty simple meal because if if we stop and think you know a lot of families like growing up Italian my grandmother could have fed us a month on spaghetti and and sauce you know we we, we could have lasted through all this on on that if you're Hispanic most of you that are Hispanic know that your grandmother could have fed a family of eight on three pounds of rice three pounds of beans and some flour. But this soup, if you're looking for something, if, if you're still in a place where you're going to the store looking for something, you should be able to find V8 juice. And if you can't find canned goods, you use whatever you got. Now my uncle, he still eats this soup sometimes too, but he has to have it exactly like my grandfather made. And I think it's much better with like hot sausage. If you're having a problem finding meat or stuff like that at the grocery, um, I try to do a couple days of vegan or vegetarian. So you can find, I, I think I have some in the freezer too. You can find fake chorizo, works fine in the soup, fake beef, fake whatever, or you don't have to have any meat in it at all. You, you know, vegetables are fine, you can eat vegetables. So um, it's really simple and I'm gonna show you how to make it. First thing I'm gonna do is I turn the stove on and I'm gonna break down the sausage. Super simple, right? I will also tell you this no sports thing is driving me crazy. I saw my cats playing with a, a toy and I found myself doing play by play. Bah ha ha ha. Oh, is, uh, is Batman immune from the coronavirus? You know, because it came from bats, they think. So that's gonna keep cooking. All right, I have some onion. So I'm gonna put about a half onion in there. Save the rest. Again, it's a soup. Anything goes in a soup. Anything you like or don't like, you know what I'm saying? It's trying to grow a new onion, but I'll pick those bits out. All right, now, fancy thing. You open up the cans. Saving my fresh vegetables for other things, but if you had some cans laying around, again, grab whatever you want. And then what I would do with all these is I put them in a strainer and rinse them so it's not all salt. So I'm gonna do that part now. There's something else I do. It's always hard to get grease out of stuff. A lot of people 
right now with with this whole corona thing a lot of people might be treating what i'm getting ready to do as wasting gold but uh i take paper towels i wad them up put them down in there and that's how i get the grease out <laughs> oh my god he's wasting paper products <laughs> for me that's still far better than pouring grease down the side of a pan, which is usually what happens when I try to empty grease. And I know there's people clever and good at doing that, but I'm just not one of them. So here's an easy way to get grease out of a pan. Even during coronavirus craziness. Luckily, I had paper towels. Now I'm gonna put the onions in, and that's a can of kidney beans. Put some water in there to get the rest of the goodness out of there. And that is a can of chili beans. Sadly, only mild. My grandfather used to use just uh, pork and beans. And like I said, my uncle has to make it exactly like my grandfather did. So he also has to use the exact brand. Whatever those little pork and beans. I forget which brand it was. Because it doesn't matter to me. I like to add some spice to it. All right, I also had this can of uh, whole tomatoes. I've probably had them for a year or two. I should check the date, but I'm just gonna dice these up. I don't have to use potatoes. It's honestly, this is just, it's like a whatever you got can of stuff that you hold around just in case something happens. You don't want them in there too big and you don't want them in there too small, you know? And this is because I thought I had more, but I only had one can of uh, mixed vegetables. Usually, you know, like veg all, they have potatoes in them. There we go, potatoes. All right, I got some celery too, I'm gonna add. I usually, I haven't added this before, but I had it. So I figure, cut it down the center. I'll just chop it down. Oh, I should be using my cutting board that I moved. Alright, that was very bad for my knife. I'm gonna sharpen that. We'll throw that in and give it a little bit of a mix up. Probably should have, couldn't have hurt to have cut these potatoes down a little bit more. Maybe I'll cut some down. GoPro, stop recording. Now all the veggies. really simple <laughs> and now the v8 i like hot and spicy it, but this soup's not hot if you want regular v8 you can again making this i just thought of making this because i make it well, usually once a month in the winter but when i thought of the whole coronavirus and the craziness on soups and beef stock and chicken stock I wanted to remind people that something like this can make a great stock for a soup. And then I fill the bottle up, maybe half to two thirds with water, shake it around, get the rest of the goodness out of there. Now we have a great big pot of soup and I am gonna bring it to a boil and then simmer it for a while. That my friends is uh, Bob's soup which has almost no resemblance to the soup that Bob used to make, my grandfather. Now it's Dan's soup. <laughs> Quick and easy, and maybe it'll help you get through all this coronavirus stuff. If you're a soup fan, in Ohio it's still cold, so I'll let that cook and we'll come back and talk some more. Like I said, when I went to the store, people have gone crazy. There's no pasta left either, so I got like half a box of uh, hotel and a bag of uh, rigatone. Not really what I would use as my first choice, like elbows is good with this, but like I showed you rice works and crackers and all that good stuff. So during coronavirus, you make do. Everybody calm down. <laughs> stay, stay smart, but calm down. Oh look, the soup is boiling. And we'll turn it down and we'll let it simmer. I let it simmer usually half an hour or so. I'll also skim a little of this off of there. All right, then you just cook up some pasta. It only takes you 10 minutes. You'll steam your lenses. All right, got the pasta in there. Some of the soup. Woohoo! 
All right, next. All right, YouTubers, check this out. I made Wendy's knockoff chili not that long ago, and I got a whole bunch of hot sauce from Wendy's. So I'm going to add that in. I've never had this in it before. You got to see my hands all up in there. All right, all right, here we go. Put that Wendy stuff in there. This is, in these trying times, if you're looking for something, this uh, V8 will make a good stock for a soup. Oh, that's good. Oh, and I'm glad I had that packet of Wendy's. That makes it even better. If you like a little spiced up. There you go. All right, YouTubers. I will say again, coronavirus, stay calm, listen to the experts, and if you're told to kind of shelter in place or whatever they want to call it, whatever term they want to get it, do what they say. Try to stop this from spreading and then we can move forward and get everybody healthy. But until then, here's a good idea for a soup. I hope you have a great and wonderful day. Mm. That was very good.